Yo, what is up? It's me, JT, and welcome back to another awesome Nintendo E3 prediction video. And today, I am actually joined by another awesome YouTuber named T-Base TV. I really hope you guys and gals do check him out. His channel will be in the description below. And if you look on the right side of my channel, you will see him in my wanted users list as well. I recommend checking him out. And what's going on like right now is I'm gonna do my part of the explanation and then I'm gonna play over his audio clip part of what he thinks is going to be released for E3 on Nintendo's E3. Without further ado, let's get into it. My first prediction from all the other predictions that I've made and I took some thought into thinking about this is I think they're gonna have another Pokemon Rumble series game come to Nintendo Switch. I mean, it would seem weird for it to be on 3DS, but they haven't really recognized anything coming to 3DS in their announcement for their E3. I think it's gonna be centered around all Switch news footage this E3, which I like. But I really do hope they add another Pokemon series game, Pokemon Rumble series game, because Pokemon Rumble was by far one of my favorite games, and I played it a lot. It was Pokemon Rumble Blast, and that's the first game I got for my Nintendo 3DS, and it would just be so fun to see another Pokemon Rumble game come to Nintendo Switch. Another thing I think is coming to Nintendo Switch is a further explanation on Nintendo's online service. Now, I hope they explain more, like how we're going to get Virtual Console or, or what the people that buy the online service get when they have their Virtual Console uh, available for them. Will they be allowed to buy a bunch of games at once, or will they be able to select only a couple games for a month? Another thing I think they will show in Nintendo's E3 is some more Mario Odyssey test footage, you know? Hopefully they show us a demo, and hopefully they get us a chance to get our hands on the demo while we're either at E3 or while we're not at E3 and we're just watching from home. I really do hope they unleash a cool little test demo for us. It would be awesome to see the game, play the game, and get a feel for the game to see if we actually want to buy it. Another cool little thing that I hope that they add for Nintendo Switch is Luigi's Mansion. Like, I would love to see another Luigi's Mansion game because I played it on the 3DS when it came out for 3DS. I remember it was, I think it was Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, and it was a very fun game, you know? I'd never really known about Luigi's Mansion before that, but when it came out on 3DS, it was really fun, and I would really love to see a new Luigi's Mansion game come to Nintendo Switch. Another thing that I really do hope that they show at this year's Nintendo E3 is new themes for the Nintendo Switch's UI. Because if you guys and gals don't know, the Nintendo Switch only has the black and the white themes for the Nintendo Switch, and they're pretty dull sometimes, and I really don't even, you know, care about them that much. I would love to see my Nintendo Switch power on and be able to open myself up and see another cool little thing uh, on my Nintendo Switch console. Another thing I hope that they will add, but I don't really know, is Kingdom Hearts on Nintendo Switch. Now, eh, I, I'm not a very big Kingdom Hearts fan. I don't really know that much about the game, but I've seen gameplay of it, and I've really wanted to get in touch and play the game, but I don't have a PlayStation 4. So I would really hope that Nintendo adds Kingdom Hearts to the Nintendo Switch and give us a chance to play the game or give some newcomers a chance to come on to the Kingdom Hearts series and play the game as well. I also think that they're going to show more online information for Nintendo Switch's online app, which will, of course, allow you to chat with your friends, schedule stuff, and overall, it's going to be the heart of Nintendo Online. I think they're also going to show more information on Splatoon 2 with new single player, more story, interactive type of things, and overall, more new guns coming to Splatoon 2. I also think they're going to show more information on ARMS since this, the E3 is only like three days before the actual release of ARMS. Thank you guys and gals for listening to my part on what I feel is going to be showcased at Nintendo's E3, and without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to T-Base TV with his part on what he thinks. One of my predictions for E3 2017 is that they're going to talk about Nintendo's new online service and the classic game selection thing that goes along with it. Hopefully they announce more games for the classic game selection and maybe they'll actually announce Virtual Console and how that will work. Games wise I'm expecting to see a lot of Splatoon 2 considering it comes out a month after E3. We'll probably hear a lot about the new features and all that but probably just a lot about Splat Chat and the new dumb headset they came out with that you gotta like have the dongle for and you gotta put the thing in the, you gotta put the headset in the dongle, and you gotta put, then you gotta put the dongle out to the switch, and then another one out to your phone, and you gotta get the app on your phone, and you gotta like plug your phone in so it doesn't die, 
and you gotta set it up so that it works with the switch and then you gotta you know maybe put the headset on your head and then whew, it's it's really bad other things I'm expecting to see is maybe a new Metroid game people have said that there's two coming out so maybe maybe we'll see in the new Metroid that'd be cool hopefully it's the 2d one it'd be really awesome if they brought back the 2d Metroid that'd be really cool but if they were to announce one it'd probably just be the 3d one other smaller games I'm expecting are like Ukulele Switch version and other indies like Octopath Traveler. Nothing that's gonna make you go crazy. Some things I'm really hoping for at E3 is GameCube Virtual Console. If they announce GameCube Virtual Console, I will freak out. It'd be like it'd be like Christmas times a thousand, times a million billion. Another thing I'm hoping for, but is almost guaranteed to not be announced, is Pokemon Stars. Pokemon Stars is supposed to be like the definitive version of Pokemon Sun and Moon on the Switch with like upgraded graphics and everything. And it's just, it's so cool of a concept. If this actually gets announced, it'd be like the best E3 ever. One other thing I'm really hoping for is some other big third party games. We already know that there's gonna be Skyrim coming out sometime, but I'm hoping for others like Overwatch or Dark Souls. Just imagine picking up Overwatch and taking it with you wherever you go. You can play anytime. I mean, you wouldn't be able to play online all the time, but like, you can still play with bots, and that'd be fun. Same with Dark Souls, except Dark Souls probably wouldn't work too well because uh, I'd probably get uh, really mad, and everyone would stare at me while I'm waiting at like a bus stop or something, and uh, yeah. I would like to thank T-Base TV for coming onto my channel and collaborating with me and just sharing an awesome discussion with me on this video because he had some very cool things. I never expected Dark Souls to actually come to the Switch, but now that that's come to mind, that would actually be a really cool thing to have. But what do you guys and gals think of what's coming to Nintendo Switch this E3? Me and T-Base would love to hear your guys' feedback in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit that like and the subscribe button. And don't forget to check out T-Base TV as well. He'll be in the description below, and he's on the right side of my channel. Thank you guys and gals for watching, and peace out.